Greetings RC friends, welcome to Props and Wheels and to the 12th day of our 14 day RC helicopter review challenge. I hope you are enjoying the helicopter review so far. Today I'm extremely excited because I have this and there are two reasons of my excitement. First it is from Isheen, a brand that I had really good experience with in the past. This is an Isheen E130 4 channel helicopter. This is a real 4 channel helicopter with cyclic, meaning that the right stick controls the banking forward, backward, right and left and the rotor blades, a single rotor blade, not coaxial, move to make those motions for the cyclic. And the second reason is, this is the older sibling of the Ishin E129 which belongs to my younger son Kaya and he loves it and he is learning so much just by flying it in the park. And this is larger than that. So, I ordered this from Banggood a couple months ago back in January and the price was $56.14 with the shipping and insurance. The total was $65.80 shipped to my door. It was coming from China Warehouse. It took a couple weeks but I was not in a hurry. And today is the opportunity to review it. So let's open it up and see what is inside. So here are the contents of the box. As I mentioned, this is the older sibling. It is significantly larger than my son's helicopter. Let me bring that in and show you next to it. And here is the E129 next to it. And you can see the size difference. It is quite a bit. Here to here. It looks like a couple inches but I mean this looks substantially larger than E129. And it has a 2S 7.4 volt LiPo battery which is 700 milliamp hours. So this is the battery and a different type of uh, connector, JST connector here. And these connectors are easy to find. I may even have same size batteries that I can use on this. In terms of spare parts, a full set of main rotor blades, a small tail rotor blade, a small Phillips screwdriver, this I'm assuming is the replacement gear in case this one gets stripped. And a small Allen wrench. The instruction manual which looks very nice. Full color on the front and has some color inside. Uh, on high glossy paper. This is the charger that goes to a USB adapter. And finally a nice looking game controller shaped controller. It is plasticky but it's like toy grade but one of the better one, one, one of the better looking ones. I hope it has good potentiometers for precise movements. Let's check the battery quickly. The battery came with 55% charge, good storage charge. I'm going to start charging. The red light on the charger came on and I connected. So the battery is charging. Let's see how many batteries the transmitter needs. Four AAA batteries. It's blinking. Looks all good. Here are the functions. This is the aileron trim, elevator trim, rudder trim. This one I'm assuming is the rate switch, so low speed, high speed. And it's also I think long press you can switch from mode 1 to mode 2. I'm not going to into detail. And this is for hover adjustment. If the helicopter is deviating in the hover, you have to long press this to get into that menu. I'm not going to cover it either. This is one key takeoff and this is a long press is emergency stop. 
but it's also explaining that this is for the calibration before you take off and this is for starting the motors and then you can go up and down manually. We are all set to go to start the indoor flight testing. The manual is saying first turn on the transmitter so it's blinking right now and then connect the battery and then it needs to be on a flat horizontal surface over here so it is blinking fast light is blinking fast on the helicopter I don't know if you can see it on the camera and then you go on the left stick up down and the light stop blinking for ca horizontal calibration you pull both of the sticks down and to the left corner so it blinked again and now it's all good and then there is one key takeoff I'm going to st try that one before I start with the manual takeoff like pulling these out and it is flying it may be all drifting maybe no I mean it's like it's probably creating its own air currents indoors nice fast yaw rate and let's see I mean it's big for this little room but hey let's press it's very stable look I mean I'm not touching anything it's just uh, basically drifting slightly towards me and then and that's normal let's increase the alt a little bit let's check the so two beeps this is fast speed let's see if it does anything in the yaw rate yeah I think it's, it's throwing out a little faster it is fast I mean <laughs> I'm glad it has the altitude hold and the gyro it is very stable so let's do a manual landing for now and you hold it for a couple seconds until the motor stops so that's great it's working well and now let's try the manual takeoff, which is you pull these down and out and then if you pull it again it should stop everything and if you press this button long it should immediately cut everything so it's cut button and let's start again and then if you give it a little throttle it's just going to rise Yeah, I'm a little afraid of it. It is a fairly large, but it's very stable, let me tell you. And let's see if that uh, one key takeoff button also works as a one key landing. Apparently not. What about this one? Maybe short press on the emergency stop button? Yes. So they, they, they fail to mark this. <laughs> it took a while to decide. It was sitting proudly a little bit of at an angle. So that's the reason proud. It was very careful to turning off the propellers slowly. But this uh, emergency stop button, if you press it short, that's one key landing or one button landing. So far, Fantastic, so far fantastic. Nothing less than I expected from Ishin, especially knowing that this is the bigger sibling of E129. That helicopter, this little guy, is so fantastic and it shares the genes. This is fantastic as well. I already love it. But next, I'm going to let my younger son Kaya fly this bigger one. And then we are going to go outside and do the outdoor testing. Okay, my younger son Kaya is ready to test out the Ishin E130. Kaya, do you feel confident? Yes, I do feel are you, uh, are you a little nervous about the size of this? A bit. Okay, so let me show you. Wait, this, let me is, this is the one key, look. No, 
This is the one key takeoff and this is one key landing. Hmm. Takeoff landing, okay? Okay. Let's go. Yeah, just small movements. Just give very, very small movements. It's drifting a little bit. Yeah. Just very small, make very small movements. Because this is a little more. Wow, okay. Now that tells me that you are getting used to it already. I may have to trim this. Yeah, are you trimming it? Yeah. Okay. It's drifting all to the left, I think, right? But other than that... Okay. Wow, you trimmed it pretty good, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't get too close to the light. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, what do you think? It's fast. It's, it's a bit... Uh, the controls, like, you gotta do this, you know? Otherwise, it feels like one of the small... Yeah, you, you pay attention there. One of the small helicopters that my dad got me. Oh, you mean this one? Hold on. Yes, the Ishin. The Ishin, yes. This is the... baby sibling of that one. Very similar, right? Yes, it is very similar. But a little faster, I guess. Okay, why don't you try uh, landing it at that one, one key landing. Or we can do it uh, manually if you like. Let's see if you'll be able to get it on the helipad. Drifting around like you Yeah, so you are very close to the ground. Very good, very good, Kaya. Come over here. So, now you give me your opinion. Uh it's pretty good, and I mean, I recommend this to maybe someone who tried a different helicopter that was easier than tried this out. Okay, so like a, somebody who started with an easier helicopter, but this may be a second, you are saying this may be a second helicopter? Yeah, maybe a second helicopter. Okay, well, I mean, look at the size, and I, I purchased it brand new. How much do, do you think I, I paid for it? $30. Oh, come on. Can you, can, you really believe, can you really believe that you can get this for $30? No, this was $65 shipped to the home, but... Well, look at the size, I mean, come on. And you didn't love it? I mean, I, I was so impressed by it. Don't no, you? I do like it, it's just that... No, but then you never say I love it, so... Okay, so... You want to talk with your thumbs now, huh? I just want to show the whole yeah, that's thing. okay, that's okay. You you concentrate, don't 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 break it too close, too close yeah. to the ceiling. Mm -hmm. Alright, good job. Okay. You are landing manually, you said? Yes. Yeah, just to hold down the left stick, the, hold down the left stick and wait another three, three seconds after it, it's on the ground. Good, very close. All right, well, thank you for sharing, Kaya. And we are outside in local park, perfect weather today. No breeze, maybe one, two miles per hour. My weather app is showing two miles, but I don't feel anything. It is just past 7 p.m. There is still plenty of light and I have most of the field to myself. So let's get started. Give it a spin. So I'm going to do a manual takeoff. And here it goes. So I started in the low rates let me bring it a couple times forward let's do a side to side this is full throttle or i mean full right and left and the altitude hold is as you can see from my thumbs holding really good no drift at all 
maybe slighter coming back but that's usually normal and this is the yaw control let's increase the wow the the rotation is really fast on this it is it's not going to win any any races but it is going really nice The battery may be getting a little weak because I didn't have a chance to fully charge it after my indoor testing. Do a little bit of pirouetting over there and just bring it back and let's hover it in front of our camera. Let me go back and to double check that we are actually getting the footage from the camera, the big one. Whoa, dogs, okay. But fantastic, fantastic helicopter, it's amazing. I don't want to say it, but this can be a beginner helicopter. I usually do not recommend these are larger, <laughs> slightly more dangerous helicopters, but this is that stable. So, I mean, what can I tell? I mean, look, I'm not doing anything. Maybe slightly drifting due to wind a little bit, but hey, I can, I can just stand there in front of it and then it's just coming slowly towards me. I don't even have to look. It is so good. And it is responsive in, the, in this mode, the high speed mode. Back to low speed and this is the low speed turn again. Okay, I don't have to do anything more. I'm just going to do a manual landing. With the manual landing you have to keep the throttle for a couple seconds down and it is done. I love the size, I love the looks, I love the controls, I love everything about this. So this is highly recommended and this could be your second helicopter after coaxials. If you are an absolute beginner, I would suggest start with a coaxial, 4 channel. There was this LC02 Thunder that had the proper controls. So that could be your first and this could be your second because the controls will be the same, that will be much slower and you can fly it indoors. This, you have to have a larger room, I wouldn't fly it indoors, if, especially if you are a beginner, but outdoors in the calm weather, even slight breeze, this can take it. Just don't let it go too far away because it is fast compared to those coaxials. I, I cannot see anything else, I mean, fantastic, highly recommend. I cannot believe they sell, the, I bought this for $65 shipped to my door and right now it's a slightly higher I think around 70 maybe $75 well worth it up to $100 this is worth it I don't know what kind of wizard they did at Ishin, but kudos to them Ishin, kudos to you and again I am not sponsored I am buying this my own money I don't monetize my channel yet I don't have any sponsors I don't have any patrons Everything you see on our channel so far has been either our own money or maybe a gift, like birthday gift, a gift from a friend or somebody donating, a, friends donating airplanes, helicopters. That's it. So, even the links are not affiliate links. So, I don't use affiliate links. This I bought with my money. I'm telling you, this is fantastic. If you find it, if you don't go out of stock, buy it. Well, 12 these days over. And on a very nice good note, tomorrow is a new day, another RC helicopter. Please stay tuned. Hope to see you then. Take care. Bye-bye.